A week ago tonight, a 67-year-old woman was killed by an alleged DUI driver as she walked along a sidewalk on Coffee Pot Boulevard in St. Pete's historic Old Northeast. Now, as our Brad Davis reports, the city is taking a closer look at Coffee Pot Boulevard from North Shore Drive up to 28th Avenue. The scenic Coffee Pot Boulevard in St. Pete is a place where recreation meets relaxation and where drivers are faced with some tight turns. That's why Jeff Bardsley, who lives nearby, chooses not to ride in the bike lane. I ride on the, on the sidewalk so the trails wherever I possibly can. But last week, Gloria Mastel wasn't even safe on the waterfront sidewalk when an impaired driver failed to negotiate one of the turns and plowed his truck into her and her friend as they took their daily stroll. She died at the scene. 21-year-old Timothy Deacon has been charged with DUI manslaughter. Her death prompted the city to take a closer look at Coffee Pot Boulevard from North Shore Drive up to 28th Avenue North. We've pulled accident statistics along this entire section of roadway. And from North Shore Drive up to about 28th Avenue North, we've experienced 15 accidents over the last three-year period. That's not a, an inordinately high number of accidents. According to the city, most of those accidents involved distracted drivers. With its official scenic drive designation, Coffee Pot also comes with plenty of well-marked crosswalks, potentially lowering the speed limit in spots and adding flashing yellow lights prior to sharp curves may be considered. We'll look at that as one of the solutions, but it's not necessarily the solution. I think the nature of the road is the problem. It's a curved road. It's a pretty road. There's a lot to look at. I'm not sure there's much he can do except enforcement of the existing laws. People who enjoy this neighborhood know that speed is often the biggest culprit. Maybe there should be signage to really slow, really slow down, because this is a residential area. In St. Petersburg, Brad Davis, ABC Action News.